Hey everyone, my name is Sean, and before I begin, I would like to thank you all for joining me at this meeting. Today I will be discussing an issue that was brought up to Executive Board. Alright, so here's a quick overview about what we will be discussing in our presentation. So we received a letter from of complaint from one of our patients that was recently treated in our facility. Um, I will be summarizing the situation, going over the initial complaints, our legal obligations, some recommendations, and finally, uh, additional training and reassessment of our employees' performance. All right, so let's hop right, hop right into it. Oh, there we go. All right, so what happened was uh, one of our patients visited our facility with abnormal symptoms and is referred to uh, one of our physicians, Dr. Graham. A few weeks after their visit, they submit a, um, a letter directly to administration. Um, patient states that they had already contacted Dr. Graham multiple times but did not receive responses, and they are now threatening to switch to a different doctor or file a lawsuit. All right, to summarize their experience, uh, the patient did not receive adequate care or treatment from the staff. Um, they were met, uh, they were examined by a medical student who only took down their vitals and um, their basic medical history. Afterwards, they met with Dr. Graham for only about five minutes uh, to exchange contact information. Um, the patient states that their medical condition uh, was not notified nor discussed by Dr. Graham. Um, after the visit, they waited a few days and after uh, waiting too long for the results, they reached out to Dr. Graham only to be notified that uh, he was on vacation. A few days later, they received a copy of their blood test results um, from Dr. Graham. However, the results were not explained to the patient and they were left very confused. Um, over time, the, patient, uh, the patient's condition, condition worsened as they waited for additional results. Okay, so uh, some of their, con their biggest concern at the moment is whether or not we will treat their condition. They are considering uh, finding a different a different provider, and they are uh, they were recommended by their friend to pursue a lawsuit against us. Now let's keep in mind that they are highly dissatisfied with our lack of communication, urgency, and attentiveness uh, to their situation, and their condition continues to decline as we speak. Okay, now why should we care? So our largest concern at the moment is the possibility of them filing a lawsuit against us. And I am very confident that we run a, an amazing facility with highly trained and skilled professionals. Um, and I wouldn't want this uh, situation to damage our reputation to our customers. Now, if we're thinking in the long run, we cannot lead our patients, or, or we cannot let our patients turn to our competitors. It's a very bad look against us. And we will continue to lose uh, patients if we don't take action immediately. Uh, some legal issues that um, we're facing at the moment is um, standard of care, lack of informed consent, uh, medical neg negligence by our staff, failure to follow up, and uh, our patients' rights. All right, so let's go over um, our patients' rights. So the patient has a right to examination and treatment. So our patient was not examined nor treated for their condition. They have the right to uh, continuity of care uh, our patient did not uh, receive any follow-up or care plan decisions. Uh, they did not receive any explanation of their symptoms nor uh, further recommendations for their care. Um, the patient did not receive a timely response to their care needs and um, the aftermath is that their condition worsened. Uh, lastly, they have the right to informed consent. In the case that we are unable to address this issue, and they're not satisfied, they do have the right to informed consent, meaning they're um, allowed to either accept or decline um, our treatment, or they're allowed to go find a different provider. And that's not what we want. All right, so for some recommendations I have, um, we're gonna contact the patient to follow up and apologize for the inconvenience. We're also going to expedite the care for the patient so that they're treated immediately uh, we're going to contact Dr. Graham about uh, the situation, conduct an investigation, um, access, access their compliance to um, the standards, 
and worst case scenario, um, we should prepare a lawyer to further investigate the issue in case they decide to follow through with the lawsuit. All right, so let's go over some recommendations I have. Uh, so when contacting our patient, uh, make sure that we are reassuring, uh, make sure we apologize and, uh, about the situation and reassure them that we will prioritize their treatment um, if they do decide to work with us. Uh, speak clearly and use general terms to limit miscommunication. Uh, make sure to be apologetic and um, take the blame. And remember that they will be very emotional and angry um, and you can't blame them because uh, they, they've been suffering all this time um, and the condition has been worsening due to our mistakes. The patient wants to be heard and they want this issue to be fixed. And make sure to explain to them their rights and responsibilities. Say things like, we are very um, sorry for your experience and we're willing to fix uh, the issue at hand immediately. Um, you were prioritized and treated today if you do choose to work with us. However, uh, you do reserve the right to uh, choose a different doctor, to either choose a different doctor, stay with the same doctor that's been assigned, or uh, change providers. But that, again, is the worst, like, worst case scenario, and we do not want that. All right, moving on. Uh, let's talk about Dr. Graham. All right, so some recommendations I have. Um, for them is uh, we can start conducting an investigation on Dr. Graham, like I said earlier. Um, it is possible that um, a lawsuit will be filed against us. So we can go in depth by accessing um, their medical records, um, their charting, um, the procedures or a history of past complaints. Uh, we can also access their, um, the physician's compliance to uh, standards and we can also recommend for the doctor to prepare for a possible lawsuit. They should probably um, find a lawyer in case the patient does decide to follow through with the lawsuit, um, as well as repercussions, um, for, um, for example, possible suspension of license. Right, and lastly, um, what I can recommend is um, additional training and education to um, all the staff. Um, provide We can provide additional training and education as necessary, as well as reassess staff compliance to standards uh, to ensure that this issue does not arise in the future. Okay, and that is the end of it. Thank you for listening.